You ready, Nick? Mm hmm. Let's do it. Okay, so this week, there's two aspects of getting form in a two dimensional surface. The first aspect we're going to cover this week, uh, in the later part of the, the session, is going to be with value. Next week, we'll cover uh, edges. But I want to expand on what we did last week and get into small shapes and negative space. So, again, last week we were talking about, uh, again, drawing a figure. And we start with a line of action. We put some big shapes in for the major forms. Uh, small action for the shoulders, small action for the hips. Um, I'm going to put small action for the arm. This other arm's hanging down. Uh, this week, again, we want to build on this, and so we want to build on some of the smaller forms. Um, smaller forms would be the arms. Okay. And I've already put a large triangle for the leg that most of the weight is on. I'm going to put a shape that looks like a horse's hoof because that foot is supposedly facing us. And this other leg is sort of kicked out. And I'm going to put a shape on, a triangular shape, for the side view of that foot. Now, I'm positioning this leg with something called negative space. And actually, the space between the legs is as important as some of the shapes because it allows me Number one, it actually set this leg in the correct position with respect to the left leg. And also, for the arm that's actually away from the body, again, I can actually use the negative space between that right arm and the body to position it. Okay, now some of the smaller forms I can actually start, uh, because of the shape I used for the chest, I actually get the traps for free, but then I can start putting some of the smaller bumps and forms on this arm. And when I get to the hand, I actually can use a mid shape for the hand, and I can actually use a cone shape to essentially uh, indicate fingers. Again, we'll, we'll actually go into, when we talk about detail on the fingers, uh, we will, I'll actually show you how to put the fingers in uh, separately and you know, in complete detail. Okay, for the uh, thigh, uh, the important thing, again, I put the cap in array, I put the thigh in, and I said I use a triangular shape because the foot is in side profile, and again, I can fill that in with a heel and uh, again, the large toe, which would be, the, and the pad would be pretty much what you'd see from that angle. Okay, now, the other leg, and again, I'm putting shapes in for the for the thigh, and notice that I overlap. I always over, overlap my shapes, which is consistent with the anatomy of a, of a human structure. In that, for instance, there is a muscle called the sartorius that actually curls all the way down around from the thigh, from the inside of the groin, all the way uh, down around the knee. Uh, now, this is uh, again important for if the leg is directly facing you. This small shape. Uh, for the lower part of the leg, I've seen people basically give me something that looks like this, and then a foot on the bottom. This is wrong, okay? The lower leg has two bones in it. It's not symmetric, okay? And the outside of the calf is always higher than the inside. And then when you get to the ankles, basically it's in the opposite direction. The inside ankle bone is higher than the outside. And then you go into the shape of the foot, which looks like a horse's foot. Now, this is actually really important because this is one of the most common mistakes I see with beginners, that they give you what's known as sausage, sausage legs. The lower leg and the lower arm are never symmetric because there's two bones in the, in the lower arm and the lower leg compared to the upper leg and the upper arm, which only has one bone. It's the humerus in the, in the thigh. Uh, no, it's the femur in the thigh and the humerus in the upper arm. So, again, with just a few... Additions, I've actually started to fill in some of the forms uh, for this figure. And I could actually put a few more forms in here for this arm, which I have. It's basically hanging by its side. Now, the back view of the hand, I've still put a circular sort of uh, mid shape in and then a cone shape for the figures. Okay. And again, the thumb would be on the inside. And the thumb is a separate shape. Okay, uh, now I'm going to give you, uh, again, uh, 
15 one, two minute poses and then we'll take a break. Okay, Nick, cut it.